I updated my planner. Stay tuned. Hey y'all, welcome or welcome back to my channel, Planning Serenity, where we plan for serenity. My name is Jessica, and as mentioned, of course, my planner has been updated. So if you are new here, I appreciate you clicking on my video and stopping by. If you're returning, you already know how I feel about you. So if you are new here, um, I use the Hello Gorgeous Volume 3 Planner by Kristen over at Luxbook. Um, if you're returning, if you have a Volume 3, you already know the queen of digital planning posted a video for us yesterday. Um, if y'all somehow, some way missed it, be sure to head to her channel and watch the video that she recorded for us. So y'all, like y'all, like where do I even begin? Um, y'all already know Kristen um, is my inspiration for like everything digital planning. Um, so to start, y'all see this year at a glance. There are several PDFs, um, all over the internet of a 2024 year at a glance. I didn't like any of them. Like I'm not even exaggerating. So y'all know I did my word of the year and I already deleted it because I was just like, I can't, I can't anymore. Um, so y'all know I did my word of the year on the Hello Gorgeous volume two um, calendar that had 2023 and 2024 on it. And then I covered up 2023 and put the word of the year on top of the 2024 calendar. So I deleted that because Kristen put this, um, if you if you didn't see her, um, her video yesterday, you would not know, but she did put this in her, um, in her freebies folder. Um, and it is a year at a glance with, it's basically her aesthetic. And that's the reason I fell in love with it and was like, oh my gosh, I gotta use it. Um, so because I am using her actual year at a glance instead of the one from Hello Gorgeous Volume 2, um, I needed to redo my word of the year. Now these three highlights, um, I plan to um, color code, um, but uh, as y'all know, we are doing moody editorial and minimalistic planning. So I'm not doing crazy like pinks and blues and you know, all those crazy colors. Um, I am keeping it a neutral color palette. I've already, you may not be able to see it on camera. Oh, I didn't put this disclaimer out there. Um, if you are new here and if you are returning, um, this is my first video being filmed with natural sunlight. I have no idea how this is going to go. If the lighting looks a little off, I genuinely apologize, but I did want to try it out because, you know, what is better than fresh sunlight? So, um, but yeah, it oopsies. If the lighting looks off, um, please let me know down in the comments. Uh, but yes, the window and blind and sun is shining down on me. <laughs> All right, so I will be color coding um, to my highlighter. So I did already start saving a neutral color palette um, for, you know, my color coding kind of sort of all throughout my planner. Not sure yet, but at least for the year at a glance. Um, obviously, well, not obviously, because some of you may be new to digital planning, but these bullet points are literally just oops, that was a bit dramatic, or a, um, a dot from a highlight. So I'm playing around with my color coding to uh, to start color coding this. So that's what those three dots are. Um, so since I now have a full year at a glance, which I'm absolutely obsessed with, um, I, again, had to redo my um, word slash words of the year. Now, y'all know I do have two words of the year, but um, I may may change it to one um because i feel like if you're new here my words were peace and prosperity but i feel like prosperity can fall under the realm of peace um it's kind of hard to explain the way my brain operates <laughs> um but yeah so i may um what am i saying i may just keep it this one word of the year so if you are here from instagram this is um the one word peace and then also i was gonna do the other word prosperity with y'all but look at this oopsies look at this my fonts my fonts where are they where are they so we will not be doing any planning in this video because how can i i have i have restarted closed out all of that stuff with good notes i've like y'all my font I don't know and then you can see this here this is the only one I can use which is what it's already saved on and obviously it's white I don't I mean it's black I don't even know if I could change it I mean I can and then I can resize but I need to choose different fonts to mimic this like this is Badani 72 this is Badani 72 in all caps with spaces between this is Avenir next um 
This is Avenir Next in like a 20 something font. This is, as y'all know, a Sem Candice. So I can't even recreate this. These numbers are Badani 72, I believe, and these as well. But I can't even recreate this because I can't. Um, so yeah, I was up super late last night working on the spacing of all of this. And like my brain was going after seeing Kristen's video. Um, and importing the full yearly, uh, year, what is it called? Year at a glance. Um, so yes, this is my new word of the year page, which I'm absolutely obsessed with. Like y'all know, like y'all know, um, it was so fun to create, but it was also very tedious. This is just a pen. I did a straight line with a white pen. Um, obviously I, well, not obviously I told y'all what these fonts are. Um, I did have someone ask, and I did respond, but just so y'all know how to turn words to the side instead of keeping them straight, you just take the lasso, um, lasso whatever word, resize, and then you can turn it that way. Um, again, I did want to literally do this exact one for the word prosperity. Um, if I were to keep it, if, if not, that would have been fine as well. I still wanted to at least do it with you all, but literally can't. Like, I have no idea. Um, this template... As y'all can see, it has the bottom black line. So um, this black page is a lot darker than the black pages that come with Hello Gorgeous Volume 3. So just so y'all know, this black page is from Hello Gorgeous Volume 2. Um, so there's that. What else? Oh, as mentioned, the queen put out her video and you know, with whatever the queen does, <laughs> a lot of us do as well. So um, I, y'all know here, let's... Yeah, I guess I could, y'all know, I started to do my tracker with emojis. Now, the way my brain works is, I thought, well, well, I thought the way my brain would have processed this is looking at the emoji and seeing, you know, oh, that's how I was feeling that day. However, emoji, an emoji doesn't necessarily like state the feeling, you know, I don't know, it's kind of hard to explain. Like you can even search an emoji, type in how you're feeling, and then an emoji will pop up and you'll look at it like, mm, that's not really, that doesn't really match how I'm actually feeling. So I did do my emojis all the way up to the ninth. Um, today when this is, I'm filming this today, the 11th, this needs to go up in like two hours. <laughs> Lord of mercy. Um, so I did, um, you know, I was filling it in, doing great with it. Um, I did delete this side. Y'all know I had like what I was tracking, blah, 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 blah. I had a couple of that filled in, but I did delete that because I duplicated what the queen did. So y'all already know, I say it basically every video, Kristen over at Luxbook, Luxbook, Kristen, all that <laughs> one in the same. Um, she is my inspiration for all things digital planning. 90% um, maybe of my ideas and all that come from her um but i literally duplicated what she is doing um for her mood tracking i guess you can say um i don't necessarily think the idea came from her because i have seen it before called a year in pixels um but i wasn't really sure what to do with the colors um and yeah but anyway so this is what kristen created I'm absolutely obsessed with it. So as y'all can see, if you saw her video yesterday, I literally duplicated her page. Um, this rating my days, I have no idea what font she used y'all. I have no idea what font and you can even see a mess up right there. So what I did to like cut off the G and like cut off the edges of the Y, I literally took a white pen and colored to make it look like um, the way it does. So this is Badani. I do need to fix the uh, coloring on this piece. Um, you can see the R. I have a white pen for some reason. I'm um, probably when I was moving and sizing things, um, but I cut off the Y. I cut off the T. I cut off the Y. Um, if you're familiar with Badani, um, you understand what I'm saying by I cut it off. Um, so yeah, I literally duplicated her pages. So we have our feeling, I mean her page, um, we have our feelings here rated one through 10, just like she did, which is so much better than an emoji. Like 10 gives an actual rating. And then we have the descriptions for each of them. So what I have left to do is obviously take my emojis that, oh, I'm so glad I'm not using these anymore. And I let y'all know there are digital creators that created sticker packs that have aesthetic colored emojis. But even with those, like it's just, it just doesn't hit the same as this. It just doesn't hit the same as this. So Y'all know that she is the queen of digital planning. So obviously th there was nothing else I could do but recreate this page. Um, 
Y'all know this font is a Sam Candice. Um, she did not put key here. She left um, the word note there. Um, so I just put key in a Sam Candice. Um, Y'all always ask me how to spell it. Um, I don't edit my videos anymore, so I can't throw it on the screen, but it's A-S-E-M um, and then K-A and as in Nancy, D-I-S, Asem Candice. Um, that is how you spell this script front that y'all love so much. Um, so yeah, I put a better life up here. It's also right here, which is the reward, which is so funny because I never knew what to put for the reward of you know, having great days. Um, and that is so perfect, Kristen, like that is so perfect. So, um, I'm so glad that she shares, um, her pages and her ideas with us because like, literally like I'd be sitting here stuck if it wasn't for her. So I did put key here in a some candies. Um, so yeah, that's what I have to do. Um, after I, um, what am I trying to say? After I fill these in to mimic the emojis, I'm going to copy all of this and paste it onto here um, because I don't want to mess up any of the hyperlinks and I don't know if, yeah, hyperlinks are really, really finicky. Um, so that is something else that I did. What else? Um, oh, I had no idea what to do with the January overview um, because again, just like Kristen, I have no birthdays in January. So she did a, like a family photo with like a back, like flowers in the background and stuff. Um, so I just threw a circle right here um, to cover that up, um, which is the birthday section, if you're not aware. Um, up here, um, I'm gonna put in all caps, just as she did what the priorities are. This first one is girl, read your Bible. That's technically, I don't wanna say it's a quote from Kristen, but one of her, um, one of her Holy Bible covers says, um, girl, read your Bible on it. And I just love that. So obviously with my God and me journey, that is, um, number one priority. Um, the dates, I love how she did her dates. Now she didn't do two digits for the second digit, which she normally does. I thought that was, I was like, hmm, did she mean to do that? Um, but I did put the two digits for the second date just so it doesn't look odd. I don't even know if y'all can see this on screen. Um, and then I started to fill this in. I'll probably do what she did and put event name just so this doesn't look empty. Um, but yeah, I like, I feel like her video gave me permission to just go for it on this page. Um, and like, I was really stuck on what to do with the birthday section. Like I couldn't just cover it up, but covering it up, I was like, do I put like a square photo here? But like the circle, I feel like is perfect. So, um, and then y'all, I feel like I asked y'all like two months ago, how in the heck do you do a, um, a bullet point? And y'all, of course, the queen of digital planning, oh, I don't even know because my texter, I mean my fonts, maybe I can do it this way. Um, the queen of digital planning, of course, showed us last night. So you click on one, two, three, then you click on the dash and you hold it. Boom. Oh, it's white. Sorry. Boom. Do y'all, like, are y'all serious? Do, oopsies, I wrote, all right, here we go, backspace. Do y'all see this? So that's what you see here are um, bullet points. I'm just gonna undo that and then get out of here. All right, um, so yeah, that's what you see here is bullet points. Y'all, can you believe it? Can you believe it? All it takes is for the queen to drop a video and everything changes, like, <laughs> um, I'm so excited. Okay, so we have that and then y'all, the biggest thing from her video the biggest thing from her video and i'm not going to show you how to do it so just be sure to go to her video to see how to do it but the biggest thing from her video the gosh darn links are you kidding me Kristen? like why are you like you're a genius you are a genius so um i linked let's see i linked my holy bible and i linked it to um the index so i can just choose whatever chapter um you know, y'all, I have, I have literally been reading the Bible and like, I could just cry. Um, I could literally cry. Like, I don't even, um, so yeah, stay tuned for like the God and me, um, updates and journey and digital, digital Bible journaling and all that good stuff. Um, so I have my Holy Bible linked from, which is a whole separate document slash planner. I guess you, I don't know what you want to, uh, a whole separate document in good notes. But as you can see, it opens it right up from my planner. So if I'm in my planner and I'm like, ooh, child, I need to read my Bible. 
<laughs> girl yes Kristen you're a genius um she also showed us how to get the um the underline to disappear and change the font color and all that good stuff so again um if you're interested in seeing how to do this link wise um be sure to head to her channel because I'm not gonna like copycat a video that she just put out yesterday you know <laughs> um so what else oh and of course I li oh it's linked to the wrong what in the flip nugget did that just link to the wrong thing well I did say I linked God and me but clearly um it's linked to the wrong thing oh there we go I don't know what I just clicked then um so I have God and me a section in my planner linked to my God and me um journal planner all that good stuff oh there it is girl read your bible so this is technically a holy bible cover but i redid it um but yeah that's where that girl read your bible quote came from um so yeah how cool is that how cool is that again um be sure to head to her channel to see how to do these hyperlinks so i'm about to go hyperlink crazy y'all like when i say i'm about to go hyperlink crazy um oh and the habit trackers like that habit tracker page she did where she set it up for the year like are you flipping kidding me like, are you flipping kidding me? Like, I'm obsessed. Um, I did start, y'all, please don't ask. Well, you could ask, but I still have not found where this came, this template came from. Um, but I did start working on my cleaning schedule. Still trying to figure out um, um, the design of like how I exactly how I want it. But I did put the things on the days that it will be. Um, I just noticed for the first time, there's only one S on here. So I'm assuming Saturday and Sunday is supposed to go together. But the good thing with my new cleaning schedule, um, I was watching a video. Um, I'll have it in the description when I do my like when I actually do the spread with y'all. Um, but I was watching a video where um, she does not do any like cleaning on it was either she doesn't do it on Saturday or she doesn't do it on Sunday. I think she doesn't do it on sat Saturday um, because she wants to dedicate the day to her family. Because, you know, as a mom um, and a working mom, like you like, well, even if you're not a working mom as a mom or like as a I don't know, as a woman, period, that, you know, is is clean. <laughs> um, you can like if you're cleaning on a Saturday, jam into your music, the whole day can get away with you. Um because sometimes cleaning is therapeutic, all that good stuff. But like having kids, I want to dedicate time to my kids. Like I can clean the house. I own my own business. I set my own hours. I can clean the house when my kids are in school. So um, there is no need to be cleaning on both a Saturday and a Sunday. So this um, that's another reason why I chose this as my cleaning schedule spread. Because I was like, wow, there's literally only one S right here. Um, so that is something I started working on. Not necessarily an update. Kristen showed us hers of this. I had no idea how I was gonna use this um, because I wasn't sure how to fill these in due to the shape of them. But um, I'm assuming she used the highlighter, which I think is gonna work perfectly fine. Um, but she's gonna use the highlighter tool to fill these in. So that'll make it easy. Um, but yeah, go watch her video to see um, how she has set her planner up. I know some of you had questions about what pages do you delete. Um, I showed y'all in my setup video that I obviously delete all the dailies um, and I save one just in case I want to use it. Um, as far as broken hyperlinks, Kristen just proved that technically the hyperlinks will break if you want to take the time to add a hyperlink to each of the um, each of the days you you could do what you do boo but um if you delete them the hyperlinks will break but Kristen showed a way that technically you can add it back um which is the same way I'm using my, the hyperlinks in my uh in my thing so you would basically add a hyperlink to that corner to hyperlink right to your daily if you happen to have deleted them all um and then just as she does you already know I deleted all my weeklies because these are DIY, well, this is a DIY planner. Um, well, that's what I call it, a do-it-yourself planner. Um, essentially, you build it as you go. Um, that is one thing I learned from her setup video from like two and a half years ago. Um, so, um, so yeah, I delete everything that comes pre-built in. But as she mentioned in her video, she, uh, she keeps it pre, like she adds the weeklies and all of those dailies for those that have never, um, seen a digital planner and don't know what to do so they don't get overwhelmed um but yeah I think those are the only well I think those are the only updates I've done I'm really obsessed with the hyperlinks um sorry I couldn't do this other page with y'all I really wanted to like not even joking um again that um 
This template is from Hello Gorgeous Volume 2, and I used it because it has the darker black pages. Um, I think I may make a new inbox um, because I really like that dark black page. Oh, I also linked, let's see, I also linked a uh, my meal planner. Y'all, long story. Stay tuned for the who, what, when, where, why on why my meal planner is in this. Um, this is, I don't know if you can see it, this is my on-the-go planner. Um, obviously, my iPad Pro will not be on the go, so stay tuned for <laughs> deets on all that good stuff. Um, so yeah, my meal planner will technically go there so it can be on the go and in here, um, but it will be yeah yeah we will get into that whole spiel so honestly the sunlight i don't know if y'all can see it it's 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 moving it's moving so hopefully the lighting of this video stayed okay um if you are new here and you happen to make it to the end of this video i genuinely appreciate you please drop a white heart in the comments just so i know that you're new you made it to the end and you like what you're seeing if you do like what you're seeing a like and subscribe would be absolutely awesome if you're returning um Drop it in the comments, you already know. Drop it in the comments, like this video, and I will see all of y'all in tomorrow's video. Bye!